This week's wedding web design using full page JS. Let's jump into it. All right, so we're in our Webflow project, and what we saw last week is that we talked about using the BIM CSS naming structure in order to uh, easily organize our sections. Uh, but this week, we're going to look at the interaction that was kind of the driving force behind this uh, layout. And what that is, is called Full Page JS. And as you can see in our structure, once we open up our Full Page wrapper, each section has a CSS name class of section. Let's jump into why. So you can find full page JS uh, here in the description below in a link. And the required HTML structure, as you can see, is to have a wrapper with an ID of full page, and then within that, uh, classes of section for each section that you want to have and to initialize it it's just this simple code here but there's so many more options as you can see you can have options for scrolling speed for fit to section uh, loop back to top once the user gets to the bottom so many options now let's take a look at our setup So I've added this initialization into my footer. As you can see, this is the uh, full page CDN. And this is the initialization below it. So these are my anchors, P1, P2, P3, P4, and P5. Anytime I wanna add an additional section, I can do so right here. And as you can see, I have responsive width as well as a scrolling speed. And many other things that have changed in here. And this is all I had to do to add it in. Now for the structure of my website. As you can see, I laid out the website just as any other website that I may create. But I wrapped each section with a section class. And then within that, I created out the other elements that I wanted. So this can be used for anything that you like. Uh, any any type of uh, option that you want to have more of like a slideshow type of a feel. Now let's take a look and see how this interaction looks. So as you can see, once I slide down, it snaps to the next section. And also my menu here will do the same. Full page JS is best used whenever you want to create an interaction that allows the user to snap to each section within your website. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. I'll also leave the link to the GitHub in the description.